First of all, tell us your name and position. I am uh, Chief Timothy Town of the Burke Police Department. And what is the award you recently received? I received the uh, Maine Association of Police uh, David Pickering Award. It's the uh, Chief of Police for the uh, year 2018. And who is it awarded to? What's the purpose? Um, they select, it's by nomination. Um, I was nominated and then the, uh, the executive board of the Maine Association of Police meet and they um, vote amongst themselves on the recipient for that year. And who is it named after? Um, David Pickering was a police chief from Cape Elizabeth, Maine. Um, he passed away at an early age. He uh, passed away at age 48, uh, but he did a great deal for the uh, town of Cape Elizabeth, as well as the uh, Maine Chiefs Association and uh, the Maine Association of Police, which are two different entities. Is it uh, awarded for service to the town or to the association? It's a, a little of both. Um, the nomination came from within. Uh, I'm not sure exactly um, which officer it was here. Um, I suspect I know who it was, um, but it comes from within. And then again, it's voted on by the executive board. So it's a mix of both um, local um, and uh, regional service. Was it a surprise? It was very much so. Can you tell us a little bit about your background here? Sure. Uh, I started here as a reserve police officer on January 9th, 1989. Um, I worked uh, in, at that capacity for a few years. I was hired um, full-time in 90, late 92, early 93. Um, and I've worked uh, my way up through the ranks um, since then. So I've spent my career here in Berwick. How long have you been chief? Uh, it was, I remember it vividly because I, I took over acting chief. Um, it was um, September 11th, uh, the day the Twin Towers went down. So it's one of those dates that you don't forget for a number of reasons. Can you tell us um, one thing you've implemented or discovered or something that's changed uh, about the police department and or Berwick? Uh, yeah, the, the, the community has changed a great deal um, all, for the positive. Um, it's been nice to see, especially the last 10 years, uh, the change uh, um, of the culture within Berwick. Um, it seems as if um, the great strides are being made to uh, make the community a better place for uh, people to live in. As far as the police department's concerned, uh, law enforcement's gone through a number of changes uh, during the time that I've been in law enforcement myself. Um, again, all for the better. Um, there's been some rough times as, uh, as far as the profession in itself. Um, we've been a little um, scrutinized, I'll say, over the last few years, a little more so than normal. Um, but sometimes that's a good thing. It makes us uh, reflect on what we're doing, good and bad. You said there have been some cultural changes in Berwick. How does the police department fit in with those or adapt to those? Uh, well, uh, I, I believe that the police department has um, has a pretty significant hand in changing the way um, people look at the community. Um, I can say early on in my career, it, it tended to be a little rough uh, around the edges, um, a different type of um, a different type of people were here, and uh, that's changed a great deal. You know, it seems as if we're becoming more of a, I guess, a bedroom community to um, like the greater Boston area. We have a lot of people that commute from here uh, to Boston, um, Portsmouth, the shipyard. Um, so the, the changes have been for the better. Um, you know, we've seen a different, a different, um, a different set of um, criminal activity, I guess, over the years. The drug issues have been difficult to deal with, um, but a little less rowdy, I guess, is how I'll put it. Of all your positions here, working up through the ranks, which position has been the most interesting? You know, th there are bits and pieces of all of them that I've enjoyed. I look back uh, many days, there's times when I'd like to step to a, a different place in time. Um, I really did, I can say I, I enjoyed all of it. Uh, the detective's position was interesting. I, I guess it's a different type of personality that likes to do that. Um, I did enjoy that. However, you know, I can think of uh, many good things about all of the positions that I've, I've actually worked in. I've been fortunate to be able to touch 
um, all of them here, which is, has been nice. Um, and the Chiefs is a, is a very um, big challenge, but it's been very rewarding to see um, the changes both, again, in the community and, and here at the police department. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people of Berwick? Yes, uh, thank you for your support. Um, we've uh, been very, very grateful for what the community's done for the police department. We've moved, um, you know, just to touch on a few things, we've moved from uh, 1,400 square feet to a building here that is close to 10,000. Uh, the community just recently voted to um, do some improvements for the facility here. Um, all of those things uh, speak, um, I guess, for the support of the police department from the community. And uh, it isn't overlooked internally. Uh, the guys are very appreciative of it. We're excited to see what's going to happen uh, here in the future. And, and uh, we'd like to hear from you. If, if we're doing things good, please tell us. And, and likewise, if we're doing things that you're not happy with, we'd like to hear that as well.